about the Baroque cello. Now, at first glance, this doesn't look so different from a modern cello. The most obvious visual difference that people often remark upon is the fact that I don't use an end pin or a spike. And this is just because they weren't really widely used until the mid 19th century. Although we do know from paintings that people were experimenting with balancing cellos a little bit on footstools and wooden pegs. Generally, people would play the cello and just support the weight of the instrument simply with their legs. And uh, it's actually remarkably comfortable. So another subtle difference between the Baroque cello and the modern cello is the angle of the neck and the fingerboard and consequently the height of the bridge to the instrument. So on a Baroque cello the bridge is lower and the elevation of the fingerboard is lower. And this has a direct impact on the volume that comes out of the instrument. So a higher tension, highly strung modern cello produces a bigger and brighter tone. But this softer, more subtle quality of sound is further enriched by the use of these wonderful strings that we have. So on this cello, I have a pure gut A and D. And the G and C are uh, gut core, this is sheep gut, wound with silver. Modern steel strings produce a very shiny, sparkly uh, quality of sound, very bright quality of sound. And um, the gut strings that we use are much more sensitive, a little more temperamental. We have to retune them very often because they respond to the temperature and humidity of the space we're playing in. But they also yield this wonderfully complex uh, range of colours and textures um, that I love to work with. Another thing I really want to talk to you about is the bows that we use. So here is a modern cello bow, which is a very familiar style, I'm sure. Um, it's modelled on a tort model, which dates from about 1790. So the bows haven't changed all that much since then. Um, the weight in the stick is is very evenly distributed and this bow really lends itself beautifully to uh, sostenuto legato cantabile playing. It really encourages you to draw out a very even rich tone from the instrument. Now the Baroque cello bow that I have, as you can see, looks very different. The shape of the stick uh, curves outwards rather than being a concave shape and it also tapers beautifully towards the tip here. The weight is much more concentrated at the heel. So it lends itself to um, a wonderful clarity of articulation, uh, much more springing quality uh, to the stick and it's a very lively stick to play with. It tends to speak as much as to sing. So really it's wonderful using these bows when playing Baroque bass lines, because often our function is to drive the harmony, the rhythm, uh, um, the, and really to underpin the, the fundament of the music. And these bows are wonderful for that. So really when I want to sing, I'm drawn to this uh, modern bow, but this one makes me want to dance. 